Today, I'm going to share with you the top three most popular beach towns to retire to in Mexico in 2024. And through alternatives, if you like those towns but perhaps can't either afford to live there, or maybe you want a mini version of them. This list is in no particular order. But before we kick things off, if you're here watching this video, then you've probably been thinking of Mexico as a place that you want to spend your golden years. Or maybe you want to change a pace or perhaps a better quality of life. Either way, I want to invite you to this free webinar that I'm hosting. It is called Dream Retirement in Mexico. It's a great introduction to relocating to Mexico. We talk about the most popular destinations in Mexico where expats choose to live. Um, Puerto Vallarta real estate broker, Daniel Chemsian, you may know of him from my other videos. He's going to share some of the basics of how to buy property in Mexico. And healthcare consultant, Pamela Thompson. She's going to be on hand to talk about what you really need to know when it comes to navigating the healthcare system down in Mexico. So. The webinar is totally free. I'm going to put the link down below so you can register. Uh, the URL is dreamretirementinmexico.com forward slash webinar. Also, if you've been enjoying the videos we post, then I invite you to subscribe so that you are sure to be notified as soon as we post new videos. Okay, so let's get to it. So have you been thinking about trading in your commute for crashing waves and sandy toes? Retiring in Mexico offers sun-kissed speeches and vibrant culture and a, and a lower cost of living. It's a trifecta for savvy retirees seeking paradise. But with almost 2,000 miles of coastline boasting diverse landscapes and atmospheres, choosing the right beach town can actually feel a bit overwhelming. So today, I'm going to simplify things and share the top three beach towns in Mexico for your 2024 retirement haven, delving into each location's unique charm and affordability, amenities, and suitability for varying lifestyles. And I'm also gonna talk about three nearby growing beach towns that offer similar amenities for a more affordable price. So first up, Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta has become the crown jewel of Mexico's Pacific coast, growing in popularity over the last couple of decades. Now, I know that there are countless stunning locations vying for your golden years, but hear me out, because Puerto Vallarta isn't just another pretty beach. It's a kaleidoscope of vibrant energy, breathtaking beauty, and endless possibilities. It's all meticulously wrapped in a culture that embraces warmth and laughter and the simple joys of life. So. Grab your favorite margarita and let's dive into why Puerto Vallarta might just be the missing piece to your retirement paradise puzzle. First things first, the climate. Okay, so let's face it. Nobody wants to trade snowstorms for sandstorms. Puerto Vallarta boasts an almost eternal spring. It has really balmy temperatures that average around the low to mid 80s year round. The winters are absolutely sublime but do know that it does get pretty humid during those summer months and it may, may make it feel hotter, but that's also great for our aging skin. Um, plenty of sunny days beckon you to explore cobblestone streets and hitting cove beaches. And while the evenings whisper sweet invitations for strolls along, along the Malecon, that's the iconic oceanfront boardwalk, you'll be able to witness some of the most gorgeous, and I'm not kidding you, gorgeous sunsets on the Pacific coast. Puerto Vallarta is a wonderland for active and curious minds. The Sierra Madre Mountains rise like emerald giants behind the city. It's amazing. It offers a playground for hikers and bikers and even adventurous souls who crave like zip lining through tropical canopies. The ocean, of course, is your liquid playground. From snorkeling amongst vibrant coral reefs and majestic manta rays to boating to Los Arcos, the aquatic adventures are endless. In fact, PV is where I first went whale watching, amazing, and I also got to release uh, baby sea turtles back into the ocean. That was incredible. But Puerto Vallarta isn't just about nature. It's also about food and culture. Wander through the alleys of the, uh, the romantic zone. Immerse yourself in the vibrant fiesta spirit at Plaza de Armas. Art lovers can rejoice. Tons, tons of galleries showcasing local and international talent beckon you around every corner while the Vallarta Art Festival will leave you breathless. And let's not forget the food. Puerto Vallarta is a culinary journey for the senses. 
from fiery salsas and melt in your mouth tacos to the freshest seafood and the most divine margaritas you've ever sipped. Your taste buds will be doing like this little happy dance every single day. I have yet to have a bad meal there. Don't just eat, experience the food. Learn to whip up your own ceviche, take a cooking class with a local abuela, or simply wandering, wander the bustling mercados. But it's not only Mexican food. If you're going to live there, it's nice to know that there's actually an incredible diversity of cuisine. You have French, Italian, Japanese, Thai, Mediterranean, you name it, it's likely you'll find it in Vallarta. They even have Michelin star restaurants. So now let's talk about the cost of paradise. Compared to many popular retirement destinations, Puerto Vallarta has gotten more expensive, um, but it still offers exceptional value for your money. So you have uh, from charming guest houses to luxurious ocean from condos, the housing options are pretty diverse. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of building going on right now in Vallarta, which is a good sign of continued growth. If you still have some years before you can move down, then maybe consider a pre-construction project or something like that. You'll get in at a cheaper price than on the ground floor, so by the time you're ready to move in, the building will be done. If you want to purchase a real resale property, then you want to think about which neighborhood ideally you want to you know, live in and that best suits you and your lifestyle. Whatever you choose, you definitely want to make sure this is really, really important that you're with a reputable real estate agent to help you through the process. I want you to remember that I mentioned the webinar at the beginning of this video. Well, if real estate really piques your interest and is important to you, then you definitely want to check out the webinar because we talk about, well, real estate broker Daniel Chumsian is going to walk you through some of the basics um, about some of the things that you really, really need to know before you start even looking at properties. Again, I'm going to put that link to register down below in the description section, or if you're perhaps listening to this on the podcast, then it's going to be in the show notes. Okay, moving on to food shopping. Groceries are fresh, 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 and inexpensive. A delicious meal at a little taqueria won't break the bank. Uh, there's everything from Costco and Walmart to your local meat and fruit bodegas. Healthcare, too, is also readily available and generally less expensive than in North America. There's actually a number of private hospitals that cater to the English-speaking community. Um, if you're wondering about finding, let's say, a good dentist, know that PV has many amazing dentists um, and at a fraction of the cost. In fact, many Americans come down to Vallarta to get dental procedures done because it is so much more affordable than doing it up north. Are you planning on bringing your pet and maybe perhaps you're concerned about finding a reputable vet? Well, you don't have to worry. Uh, Vallarta has plenty of amazing veter veterinary uh, doctors who will take care of your furry children. They will also assist you when it's time to bring your pets down to PV. So when thinking about retirement and all the things, one of those important things is community, of course, belonging and, and finding your tribe. Puerto Vallarta is a melting pot of cultures. It's a haven for expats from all walks of life who have discovered the magic of this place. And it has an incredibly vibrant LGBTQ community. English is spoken widely, uh, but learning a few phrases in Spanish will not only endear you to the locals, but also probably open doors to a richer cultural experience. Um, you'll find clubs and activities for almost every interest from book clubs and cooking classes to golf groups and volunteer opportunities. If Vallarta is too overpriced or too overcrowded, but you love the thought of waking up to the views of the Pacific Ocean, then I have an alternative beach town for you. If you head uh, about 45 minutes north, you're going to hit Bucerías. Bucerías has been booming over the last few years because of its charm and proximity to PV, uh, but it's much smaller than PV. It's nestled right on the Riviera Nayarit. Uh, this charming town lures right retirees with its blue waters, balmy breezes, and a blend of authentic Mexican charm and modern amenities. But beyond the postcard beauty, Bucerías could be the perfect mix for your retirement dreams. Cost of living. So let's start with affordability. Bucerías boasts a significantly lower cost of living compared to North America. Rent a charming casita for a fraction of your former mortgage. You can dine on fresh seafood and indulge in vibrant local markets without breaking the bank. 
Your retirement dollars are going to stretch much further, allowing you to savor the good life without financial worries. And how good would that be? Um, real estate is booming over there, offering lucrative rental possibilities or perhaps a sound investment for your future if that is what is, is of interest to you. Like all of Mexico, property taxes remain low and the Mexican government welcomes foreign investment with open arms. You can choose from older homes with more of a Mexican charm, let's say, um, and they also have state-of-the-art luxury condo buildings. <sighs> Climate and nature. Imagine mornings greeted by sun-kissed beaches, lazy afternoons swaying in hammocks under palm trees, and evenings cooled by gentle ocean breezes. Bucerias, um, they have a very summery year-round weather, very similar to Puerto Vallarta, and invites you to embrace an outdoor lifestyle. Hike lush mountains, kayak through mangroves, or simply bask in the golden sands, feeling the warm so sand soothe your soul. My God, I need a little bit of that right now. Um, community and culture. Bucerias offers a welcoming embrace, weaving a tapestry of friendly locals and fellow expats. The town hums with a laid-back vibe, where like mañana isn't just a word, it's an invitation to slow down, reconnect with yourself, and build genuine connections. Activities and adventure. Bucerias keeps your spirit young with a variety of activities. Uh, surf waves crashing on golden shores. You know, you could tee off on championship golf courses, or you can explore colonial towns on horseback. Scuba dive into vibrant coral reefs, learn salsa under the stars, or release your inner artist at local work workshops. There's plenty of things to do for those who are adventurous. Busarias is also a foodie paradise. Um, I've had some really great meals there where fresh seafood meets fiery Mexican flavors and international influences dance on your plate. Savor melt in your mouth tacos by the beach and, or dine on gourmet creations at oceanfront restaurants or learn the secrets of a traditional mole from a local. Healthcare and well being. Health is paramount, and Busarias puts your well being first. There are top-notch hospitals with bilingual staff offering excellent health care at affordable prices. Um, you can embrace daily walks on the beach, practice yoga by the ocean, or indulge in holistic wellness therapies. From modern medical facilities to ancient Mayan massage techniques, Bucerias actually nurtures your mind, body, and spirit. Personal growth and learning. Retirement is a time for self-discovery. Bucerias encourages you to blossom you can learn Spanish from local tutors or master the art of pottery under the watchful eye of artisans or maybe volunteer your skills to make a difference. Discover hidden talents or pursue li lifelong passions or embrace boundless possibilities for personal growth in this nurturing environment. Okay, so number two, top beach town in Mexico, Cabo San Lucas. Picture this, turquoise waters lapping against golden shores the sun's warmth on your skin, the distant call of whales breaching in the Pacific. Oh my God. This isn't just a beach vacation brochure. This is everyday reality for those lucky enough to call Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, their retirement haven. But, you know, beyond being like this postcard perfect scenery, there are many reasons that make Cabo a winner for those seeking a vibrant, fulfilling, and cost-effective sunset chapter. So, Let's dive into some of the reasons why Cabo could be your perfect retirement paradise. Climate. Cabo typically basks around 300 plus, yes, 300 plus days of sunshine uh, annually, averaging temperatures covering between 70 and mid 80s. Sun-kissed days and balmy nights are the norm, perfect for outdoor living and year-round adventures. It's actually a dry desert climate, so that keeps the humidity low for most of the year, making heat manageable even for the less heat tolerant. But it does have a hurricane season, and that's officially from mid-May to the end of November. But generally speaking, the most stormy weather occurs in September. This is something to keep in mind if you want to consider Cabo. Enjoy the natural splendor of the Baja Peninsula. You can dive into turquoise waters teeming with colorful fish, explore hidden coves by kayak, or conquer challenging waves on a surfboard. Um, you can do some whale watching or deep sea fishing. The Pacific Ocean is your playground. What makes Cabo unique is that you can be in the ocean one minute and literally in the desert the next. You can hike through canyons painted with cacti, ride horses through cactus forests, 
or camp under the canopy of stars for a true wilderness experience. So what's the lifestyle like in Cabo? Well, you know, Cabo has a very laid back vibe. It's Cabo's bohemian spirit blends perfectly with Mexican warmth, but it also boasts a familiar American vibe as well for those who want to feel some of the comforts back home. Uh, Cabo's food scene is a diversity of flavors. Dive into bustling markets for fresh seafood, ceviche, indulge in upscale beachfront dining, or you can discover hidden gems serving authentic Mexican specialties. Uh, you can immerse yourself in vibrant music, dance, or, and cultural ce celebrations throughout the year. Um, from the electrifying Cabo Carnival to the Soulful Whale Festival, there's always a party waiting to happen. So let's talk cost of living. Compared to North America, Cabo offers a significantly lower cost of living. Affordable housing, groceries, and dining out let you live comfortably on a fixed income if that is your preference. There are some very serious luxury buildings and luxury restaurants as well. So for those who don't need to watch their wallets, that is a great option. There are incredible real estate offerings in the Cabo area like no other. Pre-construction buildings are abundant and an opportunity for people to invest in Cabo. So like PV, if you're still years off from moving to Mexico, this actually might be a really good opportunity for you. Cabo's expat community is diverse and thrives on inclusivity. Um, connect with like-minded retirees from around the globe and build lasting friendships. Whether you're, let's say, a golf enthusiast or an art lover or a community volunteer, Cabo's diverse groups and activities offer something pretty much for everyone. There are so many ways to stay active, engage your mind, and discover new passions in your golden years. Um, Cabo boasts championship courses designed by golfing legends. Seriously, tee off amidst like breathtaking desert landscapes and ocean views, um, or you can and you can challenge yourself on some of the world's best greens. Seriously, if being outdoors is more your vibe, then you'll get to you'll get a chance to swim in dramatic caves or perhaps snorkel in mist coral reefs. An outdoor adventure waiting around every corner. Hiking, hidden trails, zip line through canyons. Um, you can conquer the legendary Baja 1000 off-road race. <laughs> the possibilities are pretty much endless. Over the last few years, Cabo has become a destination for holistic healing. Um, you can indulge in rejuvenating spa treatments, practice yoga on the beach, or perhaps partake in meditation se sessions overlooking the Pacific, or visit one of their many holistic health clinics. Affordable health care is something that Cabo off offers. There is plenty of access um, to very high quality, affordable health care in Cabo's modern hospitals and clinics. English speaking medical professionals and state of the art facilities, they give you a peace of mind knowing you're well cared for it, and that's super important. Another reason Cabo is so attractive to so many North Americans is actually the short flight from America. Cabo is easily accessible, accessible from many North American cities uh, with direct flights. So you don't have any long layovers or travel headaches. Just hop on a plane and you'll be basking in paradise for a few hours. This is great for snowbirds, for example. But if Cabo is not your jam because of perhaps maybe money or lifestyle, but you know that you want to live in the Baja, then consider Todos Santos, Cabo's neighbor about an hour north. Over the last few years, Todos Santos has become an increasingly popular spot for expats. It's nestled between the sun-kissed Baja California Sur coastline and the rugged Sierra de la Laguna mountains. Todos Santos whispers promises of a simpler, richer life, the perfect mix for retirees seeking a vibrant yet laid-back haven. Beyond the allure of palm-fringed beaches and crystal blue waters, this magical town unravels a tapestry of diverse charms beckoning you to weave your retirement dreams into its colorful fabric. So, imagine this. Sunrises that paint the mountains like with these fiery hues, gentle waves lapping at your toes, and the sweet scent of bright pink bougainvillea flowers draping colonial buildings, my God, Toto Santos embraces you with the warmth of a per perpetual summer, inviting you to trade your office chair for a hammock beneath the swaying palms. Uh, surf lessons become your morning ritual, witnessing playful dolphins your afternoon delight. 
In fact, Todos Santos is actually one of the epicenters for surfing in Mexico. You'll see from beginners to the most established big wave surfers in the world coming to Todos Santos. But Todos Santos is more than just a beach postcard. Its historic heart echoes with stories whispered throughout the century-old adobe walls. The cobblestone streets adorned with vibrant art galleries lead you to quaint little plazas where you'll witness mariachi music dances on the breeze. Immerse yourself in the vibrant cultural tapestry, learn salsa under the stars, and discover treasures crafted by local artisans, each piece with a story waiting to be held. You know, retirement promises not just leisure, but a chance to really reconnect yourself and your passions. Todos Santos nurtures your soul with a tapestry of different opportunities. Yoga studios nestled amidst palm trees guide you into an inner peace. You know, you, while art workshops unleash your creative spirit. Learn the ancient wisdom of herbal, herbal remedies from local natural healers or perhaps find solace in the serenity of nearby yoga, yoga retreats. For those seeking adventure, the majestic Sierra de la Laguna offers a playground of its own. You can hike through canyons bathed in golden sunlight, discover these hidden beautiful waterfalls, trails carpeted with cacti. New, each new path leads you closer to a deeper connection with nature and yourself. Retirement can be daunting, but in Todos Santos, you're never alone. This is, has a very warm, welcoming in, uh, community embracing newcomers with open arms. Expats from across the globe have woven themselves into the fabric of the town, um, creating a diverse tapestry of experiences and friendships. The locals, uh, this is local anywhere in Mexico, you know, they're known for their genuine smiles and infectious zest for life. They fill your days with laughter and warmth, learn basic Spanish over cafe con leche, um, participate in traditional fiestas, discover the true meaning of mi casa es tu casa. In Todos Santos, you'll find not only just neighbors, but a chosen family. Compared to North America, Todos Santos offers a significant lower cost of living. Um, this allows retirees to stretch their savings even further. From fresh locally sourced groceries to vibrant handicrafts, um, your pesos are going to go a long way. Uh, there are many affordable housing options, ranging from charming casitas and modern condos, Healthcare facilities are re readily available. And if they don't have exactly what you need, you can just drive an, an hour south to Cabo. You can indulge in all the experiences without breaking the bank. More than just a beach town, Todos Santos is a tra tapestry woven with threads of serenity, community, cultural vibrancy, and affordability. Number three top beach town spot in 2024 is Playa del Carmen on the east coast of Mexico. Playa del Carmen has long been a favorite for many Americans and Europeans. It's only 45 minutes south of Cancun, and Playa has this laid-back, bohemian vibe, but also boasts many of the conveniences that Americans and Westerners have become really accustomed to, like a Sam's Club, Home Depot, and Starbucks are literally everywhere. Um, Fifth Avenue has grown over the years to become the center of Playa. It's about 90 plus blocks lined with store after store for tourists, but also amazing restaurants, clubs, apartments, boutiques, and so much more. Um, there's a major highway uh, that leads you from Cancun to Playa del Carmen and Tulum. Tulum, as you may know, is a popular destination for tourists and expats. It's about 45 minutes south of Playa. Um, most expats in Playa live east of the highway, which is, means it's closer to the ocean. But if you need to be careful about your spending, then finding a place west of the highway may be a better bet for you. Um, you're going to have a lot more choices in affordable housing. Uh, so real estate prices. They have come up quite a bit over the years in Playa because of its popularity. Uh, but there's also a lot of growth happening and new building going on. So that is also an opportunity for people to invest in pre-construction, which is, uh, comes at a much lower price. So that's the same for Cabo, and that's also the same for Puerto Vallarta. There are also gated communities throughout the region, if you prefer. Um, this is very famous throughout the region. Playa Car, Puerto Aventuras. These small communities where you have all the amenities you can ask for, like golfing, golf courses, stores, pool, pools, gyms, access to beaches, restaurants, all without having to leave your gated community. Okay, so let's talk climate. First and foremost, Playa del Carmen bathes in a perpetual symphony of sunshine. 
With an average yearly temperature about 78 to mid 80s, you can kiss those icy winters goodbye and embrace those balmy breezes year round. Um, you can swap your down jackets for light linen shirts and replace boot boots with flip flops. Who doesn't want to do that? Your wardrobe will reflect a carefully rhythm of beachside living. But do note that it does get quite hot and humid during the summer months, so you want to take that into consideration. Also, over the last few years, the sargassum, unfortunately, the brown seaweed that many of you may have known about already, has become somewhat of a nuisance for those living in everywhere from Florida, Caribbean, um, and Playa is no exception. For a few months out of the year, the seaweed has been rolling up onto the beaches to the dismay of many of the residents and tourists. But that said, um, they do have people who rake the beaches literally every single morning when it's in season. And I've actually asked friends who live there how much of a nuisance it is or how much of an issue it is. And they actually say that it's more of a seasonal inconvenience and that they still love living in Playa regardless. Cost of living. Living in Playa del Carmen strikes a harmonious chord between affordability and comfort. Compared to its North American counterparts, uh, the cost of living is pleasantly lower. Uh, you have access to fresh produ produce throughout the year. Um, there's larger grocery stores and small mom and pop bodegas. They offer a bounty of delicious and inexpensive meals. Even healthcare boasts a high standard at a fraction of the cost. They have excellent hospitals and English-speaking doctors readily available. If you have a more serious procedure, you can just quickly go to Cancun. This financial freedom allows you to focus on the real treasures that are important to you. Not far from Playa, you can explore uh, ancient Mayan ruins shrouded in mystical whispers or wander through cobbled streets lined with colorful buildings showcasing local artisans' masterpieces savor like all the different variety of Mexican cuisine from smoky moles to fresh ceviche. It's not only the home of incredible, incredible Mexican food, Playa is actually the home to a very large Italian community, uh, which means you actually have a lot of awesome Italian restaurants. Um, and there's tons and tons and tons of different international cuisine. In fact, I actually had some amazing Turkish food when I was there last. If outdoor adventure is your jam, then you might want to go surfing, kite surfing, or paddle boarding, or even snorkeling. Uh, you can explore the lush Mayan jungle on adventurous eco tours, zip lining through the emerald canopy, or rappelling into hitting cenotes. If you actually haven't checked out a cenote, there are these like beautiful natural sinkholes native to this area where you can swim, dive, and explore. You must, must put it on your bucket list. It's amazing. Um, from jungle hikes to diving with whale sharks, the possibilities in Playa del Carmen are as endless as the horizon itself. In Playa del Carmen, a welcoming community awaits. Um, you have residents and expats from all corners of the globe. Join morning yoga sessions on the beach, sip coffee with new friends at local cafes, or dance the night away under the stars. There are clubs and activities for every passion, from art appreciation to book clubs and a real deep sense of camaraderie that binds this diverse community together. Beyond the external allure, Playa del Carmen whispers a promise also of personal growth. Uh, with a slower pace of life, you actually have the time to rediscover hidden passions, delve into creative pursuits, or simply be present in the moment. Take up painting classes, volunteer at a local animal shelter, or learn to salsa dance under the stars. If you find that Playa may not be the right spot for you financially or spiritually, then you might want to check out um, its up and coming neighbor about 20 minutes north. It's a former uh, small fishing town called Puerto Morelos. Nestled on the Riviera Maya, this is a charming village embracing retirees with the warmth of sunshine and the promise of a simpler, richer life. Okay, so let's start with the practical. Um, compared to the U.S. and Canada, Puerto Morelos offers a significantly lower cost of living, as all do all these places. Renting a cozy condo can cost you less than 1000 a month. Um, fresh, delicious meals at local markets or casual restaurants can really make a dent, not make a dent in your wallet. And even healthcare is remarkably af affordable, especially modern access to modern hospitals and clinics in Cancun, which is literally just a short 20-minute drive away. You have the charm of a small Mexican village with access to the top amenities very close by. 
not only the big box stores like Costco, but also malls and large supermarkets, and of course, the Cancun Airport. As far as outdoor adventures, the turquoise Caribbean is just steps away. You can snorkel in the world's second largest coral reef, and an incredible, incredible diversity of marine life dancing before your eyes. Hike through the lush mangroves, listening to the chorus of tropical birds and marveling at the ancient Mayan ruins hidden within. Every day in Puerto Morelos is an adventure, a chance to reconnect with the beauty of nature. In downtown Puerto Morelos, uh, you can wander through the colorful streets adorned with murals that tell the town's stories, savor fresh seafood at the bustling market, or join a salsa class, or participate, uh, participate in a traditional Mayan ceremony. Here, you can be a part of the fabric of the town. This is the time to savor the slow life. Forget the rush hour frenzy. Here, time stretches like the warm sand under your feet. Rise to the gentle chirping of birds and sip your coffee with the sunrise and let the day unfold at its own pace. You can explore a hidden cenote, a crystal-like sinkhole, as I mentioned earlier, that is great for a refreshing dip. These are some of the things that you're going to find throughout the region. In Puerto Morelos, slowing down isn't a choice. It's a way of life, a recipe for inner peace. But you also are a short drive away from the bustling streets of Cancun and Playa del Carmen. So while the beach is undeniably magic, uh, Puerto Morelos offers so much more. You can delve into the history of the region um, at the Mayan ruins or marvel at the ancient pyramids. And if you crave the serene beauty of nature, uh, you can just head to Isla Mujeres or Cozumel Islands where our time seems to stand still. Retiring can sometimes feel isolating, but in Puerto Morelos, you'll find a growing expat community. We've talked about yoga on the beach, volunteers at a local school, participating in one of the many cultural events. This is everywhere. Um, in Puerto Morelos, you're not just living, you're thriving, surrounded by kindred spirits who share your zest for life. In Puerto Morelos, you can pick up a new language or learn to paint murals with local artists or maybe even volunteer at an archaeolog uh, archaeological project, take photography classes, or attend lectures on Mayan history, or just simply lose yourself in a good book while listening to the waves. That doesn't sound so bad to me. Um, perhaps the greatest value of Puerto Morelos lies in its power to really reconnect yourself with you. You trade the deadlines and pressures of your formal life for the rhythm of the ocean. You'll find quiet space to rediscover your passions, your priorities, and your true self. So <clears throat> whether it's through the serenity of yoga at the beach or the thrill of diving through hidden cenotes or the simple act of maybe sitting under a palm tree, Puerto Morelos offers a constant invitation to slow down, listen, and reconnect to the essence of who you truly are. Ultimately, retiring in Mexico is an invitation to rewrite your life's narrative. It's a chance to trade the ordinary for the extraordinary, the mundane for the magical. It's a promise of sun-kissed days and turquoise waters. There are plenty, plenty of other towns that I didn't quite make this list, but are definitely worth checking out. But if beach is your top priority when it comes to relocating or retiring in Mexico, you're definitely going to want to put these on your list. So while they all share the incredible blue waters, sunny skies, and warm, temp warm temps, they are all very different in feel, vibe, and lifestyle. So you kind of have to be there to kind of experience it. This is my 2024 list of top beach towns in Mexico. If you're really looking to retire or relocate to Mexico, then I want to invite you to our webinar, Dream Retirement in Mexico, where we're going to talk about the top destinations to retire to in Mexico, not only just beach towns, but what it takes to buy property and your healthcare options as an expat. So all you need to do is go to dreamretirementinmexico.com forward slash webinar to register for free. I'll also put the URL in the show notes and the description section below. I want to thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year, and we'll see you next time on Dream Retirement in Mexico.